So, in a world full of suffering and pain, a big question that has to be asked is, where is God in the midst of the suffering and pain? I mean, why hasn't God done anything to eliminate suffering and evil? And what about now? Why doesn't God do something to eliminate suffering and evil? And finally, will God ever, will he do something to eliminate the problem of suffering and evil? And I think the answers are pretty clear if you take a look at what the Bible has to say. One is that he has done something about the problem of suffering and evil. When Jesus came to this planet as a human being, God, in the second person of the Trinity, left the throne room of heaven in order to come to earth to do something about suffering and evil. As a matter of fact, he experienced our pain and our suffering, and he put it all on himself. He went through the worst mockery of a trial, beatings, floggings, a betrayal, being lied about, lied about, spit upon, mocked, and eventually hung on a Roman cross between two criminals to die a death he didn't deserve. Jesus went through suffering himself, and so he knows suffering. But what his suffering has done is it's created a path for many, many people, millions of people, billions of people, to wind up following him and becoming a part of the solution. You ask the question, why doesn't God do something about suffering and evil? And the answer is, he does. He does do something about suffering and evil. When Jesus was here, he established a new order called the kingdom of God. It's a realm in which God is in charge, and Jesus invites all kinds of people to be a part of being justice for those who are oppressed and bringing food to those who are hungry and helping people who are poor and giving water to those who are thirsty and visiting people in prison and in hospitals. And throughout the ages, this is something that has been a hallmark of Christian community is that they've brought hospitals and education and visitation and food to those who are homeless and hungry and poor. And that is, in fact, the hands of feet of God in this world doing something about the problem of evil in this world. And the ultimate answer to the final question of will he ever do something about evil, the answer to that is he will. Not only has he done stuff in the past and is he doing things right now through his body, but in the future he'll one day eliminate evil in all of its entirety. The Bible talks about a time when Jesus is going to come back again, and in that coming back will be the ultimate triumph over evil. He'll reclaim all of his people for his own, and all of the things in this world that are left, that are evil, that are alienated from God, will be destroyed. And God will remake this world into being, being the new heavens and the new earth. And it'll be a place where there's no more evil, no more pain, no more death, no more suffering, no more mortuaries or caskets or cancer or anything that we consider evil. It says that God will wipe every tear from our eyes and all of the things that were evil will be made new. And all of this is possible because what God has done, is doing, and will do in intercepting a world that's gone wrong.